Now, I just thought I'd um, share with you a couple more um, ideas of how you can use QR codes in the classroom. I recently presented these at a conference um, around the idea of QR codes, so I thought I may as well put them up on the blog so people can um, start to talk about them. If you're still unsure what QR codes, I guess one of the activities is very, very basic, and I guess the other one is a little bit more advanced, but um, certainly something worth looking at. What you can see here is a maths worksheet, and it's probably... Um, no different to any other maths worksheet, except you can see that it's got a QR code underneath each of the um, different solutions. So we're looking at volume of a cylinder here. Now the idea is students would um, complete it and try and work it out themselves, but rather if they got stuck um, asking a teacher, um, if the teacher wasn't available perhaps, what they could actually do is scan the code with their phones And what it would do is reveal a website link, and that link would actually take them directly to a YouTube video, which would then be explaining how to solve that particular solution. So each of those different um, sums has its own video with its own explanation of how to solve it. Now I simply just recorded the, um, the solutions on an interactive whiteboard, solving them, and then just put them all into the one video and on YouTube the video is actually um, linked to a specific part of the video so it plays exactly at the right moment, you don't have to watch the entire thing. The next example is using a heart, the model of the heart. And as you can see the heart has numbers on it, okay and there's a sheet that goes with it that has numbers on it also. So the idea being that you can actually look at the number and say, okay, I want to know what number three is, and you might go and find a code and scan number three, and it would reveal exactly what that particular item is. Now you're probably thinking, well, what's the point of having like a standard um, reveal tool? Why would you just have not the name like we do at the bottom that says what each number is? Well, then you can do things like this and scan a code to have it reveal a YouTube video or a podcast or whatever, which goes into detail explaining each particular item. So, that's just a, a simple way how you can link with a, a physical object with the online world through QR codes. And it's a, basically what you would call a smart object in that the heart has some information about itself in terms of its uh, what each part is or in this case um, I scan the artery then um, the aorta sorry it actually shows me a aortic um, surgery uh, bypass so it's just something interesting that you can possibly do and I know that if I go and scan one of the items down the bottom here it'll actually reveal a song which tells, uh, which is very easy and is designed to help people rem remember the flow of the heart through the body. So you're starting to link physical objects with the online world very easy through the use of QR codes. And this one here is just very simple to set up. Um, I guess there's a couple of other ways that you can use QR codes and hopefully you can think of the many other uses.